You know, werewolf legends haunted people's dreams for hundreds of years. Imagine a full moon, someone beneath it, slowly turning into a ferocious wolf creature. Our parents and our grandparents love to be scared by the classic werewolf tales, and I hope you will enjoy The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. I'll see you after the show. Right now I'm going for a quick bite. snake. Oh, gross. Hey there. Hey, give the snake an ear and it'll look like your old boyfriend. Brady, don't be silly. Snakes don't have ears. <laughs> Mom! Emily, we live near a swamp now. You're gonna have to get used to things <sighs> that crawl and slither. Besides yourself. Oh. Grady, set this free in the swamp. Me? Have fun. Mom! Go oh, on. Uh, a little wildlife never hurt anybody. Just don't go too far in, okay? this far. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I am not lost. swamp yesterday I thought you'd be on my side mom and dad have been talking about this experiment for years and I'm not gonna be the one to ruin it <laughs> gee and the one time I was counting on you oh. Oh. Off the truck. Great. <sighs> this place is beginning to feel like home already. So, uh, when do you set the deal loose? Well, not for a while yet. Your mom and I have to tag them, make sure the trip here hasn't sent any of them into shock. <sighs> Did you ever think that you would be spending your teenage years in a place like Fever Swamp? Not my wildest dreams. 
Hey, this is a great opportunity for you, you know? Most kids don't get to expand their horizons like this. Yeah, I bet you make lots of new friends. Oh, yeah, right. Like that psycho I ran into last night. He's not a psycho. He's a, he's a hermit. I asked about him in town this morning. He lost his family a while ago, and ever since then, it's been a little strange, but he just lives off the land, doesn't harm anybody. I don't feel right about this place. It feels so... It just feels so weird. Oh, you see these deer here? Up until a couple of days ago, they had never seen a swamp before. Now your mom and I get to study how they're going to adapt, and believe me, they will, because it's just natural to adapt. And pretty soon, they're going to love it here. And so are you. Very interesting. Glad I could be a part of your study. yesterday. You live here? I didn't know any kids lived here. People usually don't move into Fever Swamp. They move out. Hi, I'm Will Blake. I don't live over there. Grady Tucker. So, what are those deer you got in that pen for? Well, my parents are scientists. They're studying how the deer will adapt to the swamp. Scientists, huh? We don't get many scientists around here. Sounds like you don't get much of anything. Yeah. It's old timers, mostly. We're the only kids. I bet you had lots of friends where you came from. Yeah, like 20 right on my street. Oh, that must have been great. It was. So, uh, you want to play catch? You got a mitt? Uh, I'm not much for baseball. I've got some targets out back. You've got a BB gun, don't you? Our family kind of doesn't believe in guns. Oh. You been in yet? Yesterday. Did you get lost? Yeah. People say the swamp starts to grow inside your head. You get confused, turned around. Sometimes people go in and are never heard from again. You know why your parents got that house so cheap? Yeah, because it's a piece of garbage. No. Because the old lady who lived there went into the swamp one day and never came out. So let's check it out. Wait a second. OK. I know my way around. This is incredible. Dinosaurs used to live in places like this. They still do. Alligators. You know, some of the most successful predators live in swamps and jungles. So how come they call it fever swamp? Because people around here believe there's a fever that comes from this swamp. It makes your body get hot like an oven. And it gets inside your head and starts boiling your brain. Makes you do crazy things. Even makes you run into the swamp and stay there. Maybe we shouldn't be here. We gotta get out of here. What is it? Shut up and run. Come <laughs> on. 
came out at night. I saw that guy yesterday. I'm just lucky he didn't see you. He did see me. That's bad, Greedy. They can't prove it, but he's the real reason people keep disappearing. My dad says he's harmless. Don't believe it. He's been roaming around this swamp for 50, 60 years. Come on, he can't be that old. He's even older than that. People like him don't age like the rest of us. It's impossible. It's true. I'll never get a day older as long as he keeps finding victims. The moon is full tonight. You'll hear him howling and you'll know exactly what he is. Nothing else on Earth howls like that. Like what? Like a werewolf. You just got your license and you don't know the roads. So I'll drive slow. Is there any mail for me today, like from my friends? Mail doesn't come until Wednesday. Amazing it comes at all. I hear you met the neighbor boy today. What's he like? He's OK. Huh? Without a car, I'll never meet anyone my own age. Oh, Emily, come on. It's not like we're on the moon. His name's Will. You know what he said? He said there's a fever you get from the swamp. The fever boils your brain and makes you go nuts. That's ridiculous. Are you sure? Did you know that a lot of people have disappeared around here? Did you know that the lady that owned this house disappeared? But Will knows what got her. A werewolf. <laughs> well, that's just great werewolves. I don't know about this Will. Will knows the swamp, Mom. And you know who he thinks that werewolf is? The swamp hermit. All right, I've heard just about enough. Now listen, there is no such thing as a werewolf. Those stories are just old folk legends. There's never been a shred of scientific evidence. And also, there's no such fever as the one you described. And as I told you before, that old hermit is a harmless old eccentric who has never hurt anyone. Or no one's lived to tell about it.
that was trying to kill you? <sighs> Did I hear someone screaming? Whoa. It was Grady. He was being licked to death. Where were you? You missed all the excitement. Something upset the deer. I went outside to check on. You left the door open. <laughs> well, I think we found the culprit. Hey, boy. He is huge. So that's who's been howling. What are you doing scaring people like that, huh, boy? Yeah. Wonder who he belongs to. No collar, no tags. He's probably a stray. Well, he seems friendly enough. Can we keep him for a while? <laughs> Bit'll make a great watchdog. Uh, I don't know, Grady. Oh, come on, Dad. Life in the country is not complete without a dog. You want to live here, you got to take the whole package. We'll see. Oh, come on, Dad. OK, I tell you what, I'll, I'll check in town. If nobody claims him, then we'll talk about it. But he sleeps outside. Deal. Excuse me, doesn't anyone care about what I think? <laughs> See? Someone cares. <laughs> oh, come on, boy. There you go. Here we go. How long's it been since you had someone to play with, huh, boy? Neither of us has to worry about it anymore. Don't get too attached to that dog, Grady. We might have a home. I'm thinking about calling a vandal on the car on the way he broke in last night. <laughs> What'd you bring that out for? There's gonna be a full moon tonight. Full moon? It'll be really spectacular. The sun, the moon, and the earth will be lined up so the earth's shadow will pass over the moon. A lunar eclipse. Ooh, can I still get tickets? Someday, something's going to impress you, kids. I just hope I'm around to see it. Did you hear the howling last night? Yeah, it was Vandal. Is that what you think? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Don't worry. If that swamp permit comes around, Vandal will smell him a mile away. Don't you, boy? And what's this stuff tied to the trees? Wolf's bait. It's supposed to ward off werewolves. Of course, educated people know it doesn't work. All oh, right, the educated people use silver bullets. Shows how much you know. The fact is, where folk invented that silver bullet story themselves, so poor people couldn't afford to hunt them down. Where folk? I suppose you'd call them where persons. <laughs> Maybe we should go back. I don't know this part of the swamp. fell in, sucked him down like quicksand. There's no telling what's down there. I wonder how deep it is. Let's find out. What's it feel like? Like green, slimy mashed potatoes. Oh, this is too gross. Hey. Hey, wait a second. What is it? Something's got me. Help, help me. Oh, oh. oh. it was only a shoe. <laughs> Sucker. 
Chris. You're not funny. Oh, man, that was awesome. You should have seen the look on your face. Come on, Grady, I couldn't help myself. What's the matter, boy? Somebody's watching us. with those big, innocent eyes. So I reached out to pet it. Well, honey, didn't you realize something was wrong when it didn't run away? I thought it liked me. 